All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. But enough about me. Let's get into this topic. All right. So today we're going to be learning two topics, variables and my blocks. They're kind of small, but, you know, they're really powerful in the sense that they could be used to make your code more efficient, more smaller, more compact. However, you know, it's like it's really useful. All right. So let's start off with variables. So you might ask yourself, what's a variable? So a variable, think about it as an object that holds like a value. For example, think about it like you could name something like, I don't know, dog, and you could give it the value of 10, you know? So, or like you could actually name it something useful like counter or like, you know, like, I don't know, like oranges, cause like amount of oranges, you know, whatever, whatever you wanna do, you have the control to do that and store it into a variable, you know? So think about it as somewhere where you could store data. Because as you guys know, like for example, right now it just picks up data, but you can't really save it. And that's what a variable is used for. So you might be like, okay, how do I make a variable? You know? So you would just go to the variable section and you like make a variable and then you could just name it. For example, I'm gonna name this one counter. Okay. So now, now you have the option to just like click and counter into wherever you want to. And then set counter. So what this does is that it gives it a value. So for example, if I were to be 10, counter would now have the value of 10. So now when you think of counter, think of the, about the number 10. Instead of having to every single type in 10, 10, you just use the, your variable and just plug it in there. Just plug it in there. And then as well as like change counter by one. So what this is gonna do is gonna, it's gonna increment it by one. So it's gonna be really useful, you know? As well, you could rename the variable, you could delete the counter variable. So you have all of those options, you know? But however, like when you're like change counter by one, what that's gonna do is gonna increment it by one. So now if it was 10, that was gonna be 11. So now let me show you guys a small little example. Okay, so for example, you know, let's go to the right. You know, for example, you could be like right and counter at line one. So what this would do is that it would write whatever value counter has. For example, if it were to have 10, it would write 10 to line one in the display so think about it as that you know so it's kind of really useful as well and in control like you could be like wait one second but instead you could like wait count counter se seconds so what that is going to do is going to wait 10 seconds since my value is 10 seconds it's going to wait 10 seconds so think about this as whatever value is in there that's what matters you know this is just kind of like a place so think about it as math like when we do like x is equal to 10 or x is equal to blah 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 you know, it's pretty much the same concept, you know, really nothing much changes. So it's really, really useful and very powerful in that sense. Okay, so that's pretty much all for variables. There's not really much more to it. It's kind of just that simple. And then, however, now we can make my block. My block, it's what we call a function like for example you know the little blocks that we used before like movements and all those that's what that's what they are that's what they are okay so now we're gonna name it mm, i don't know and data and we're gonna save it so now what data is so now for example you know Instead of like, let's let's suppose I want to be able to just have like a bunch of code just in one function. For example, if I want to have one for every single time, like turn left, turn right, instead of having to rewrite that code every single time over and over and over and over, I could make it my block. And what that's going to do is going to allow me to be able to control it. For example, okay, let's suppose, okay, I wanted to go there. Okay, and I wanted to go five rotations. Oh, shoot, my bad. For five rotations, and then like it's, I wanted to go every single time. So what this is gonna do, you know, for example, if I was multiplying this code many times over and over and over, and this code just appeared many times all over, instead of writing it over and over, I could just have my block. And then for example, let's suppose when program starts. I go to my block. If I implement it many, many, three times, this is gonna repeat this code three times because I'm calling it three times. 
as I mentioned, this is a function. So everything that's in here, in here, like we have the option to call it. So instead of having to repeat, having super long programs with the same code that repeats itself, we just clean up our code. And instead just put it on in one my block and just be able to have it more compact and have it more clean. Instead of having to repeat code over and over and over and over, this allows us to just be able to call one function or my, a my block and then just call it a day. And that's way more easier and way better because like that we have so much, so much more like cleaner code. It's way easier to debug. You run into an error, you could just be like, okay, like like instead of going through the whole code and having to fix the whole program, you could just fix it in one little section right here. For example, for example, you know, if I had this code repeated multiple times, and then like I messed up on the motor port for some reason, instead of having to go through all of them, all of them, I could just come and change it right here, and it's gonna change it in all of them. Much easier, right? And that's that's the real magic with this. That is the real magic with this. So I would really encourage encourage you guys to use my blocks because they're super powerful. It makes your code way more clean and it makes it way easier to debug. And I would really recommend that for you guys. So it's really useful. It's really, really, really useful. So take all of the, your resources that you have to make it easier for yourself. And my blocks are something really useful, especially, you know, when you start going into like further programming, like like a language, like Java, Python and stuff like that. You're going to use all of this and you, you're not going to want to right now. You can probably just drag a block, but later on, you're not going to want to sit there and type and type and type the same code over and over and over and over and over again. Or you could just have a function and just call it multiple times. Same thing with here. Just write one my block and just call it multiple times. It's called it multiple times and this is the same thing it's really powerful and really cool you know so anything that you could have done here is the same thing you can still put display you can still add control you can still add events everything everything you know so everything is still there you still have all of these options so use them take advantage of them you know that's pretty much all I have for you guys for variables and my blocks and then as well, you can make a list. So a list is basically an array. An array is basically an object that holds multiple objects. That's all a list is. You know, for example, think about it as you have like, like for example, add thing to hello. You know, you could just add another thing to it. You could add, I don't know, dog. And then you could just keep on adding. And then you could just delete everything inside that array. And then replace item one. So think about it as this. You could also check what the length is. If you're like, okay, I don't know how long it is. So a make a list, it's what we call an array. It's an object that holds multiple objects. And you might be like, okay, like, um, how does that work? You know? But like the thing with this is that like it's you're able to store multiple. For example, instead of making ten thousand variables, you could just make one and just keep on storing things inside of it. Just keep on making it longer and 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 longer. And well, and as well, you have access to all of them. For example, item one of hello. So you have access to all of this. You know. So you have access to everything. So think about it as this. The very first item you input, obviously that's gonna be item one. The second one, item two, item three, item four, item five, you know? So all of this, you have access. So instead of wasting making so many variables, instead of making 10 counters, cause let's suppose you have, okay, I have, I'm, I'm gonna need to have five different counters. Instead of making five different variables, you can just make one one list and just keep on storing the values inside of that, right? It makes your code way better, way more efficient and way more powerful and way more compact, you know, because you don't want to have super long code that's super buggy when you could just have short code that is really powerful. So I would really encourage you guys to use this program. Like 
just to use the make a list, to use the variables, to use my blocks, because they're super powerful. Now you can store so much stuff in there, it is really useful, so I would really encourage you guys to use them. So remember, my list is an object that holds multiple objects. You know, it's like a variable, but except you could store way more stuff than just one item. Well, in the variable, you can only store one. Well, on my in the list, you could store way more because it's an array. You have multiple items in, embedded into it. That's why you're able to add. That's why you're able to delete. That's why you're able to replace. That's why you're able to just display and see the length. So the length is how many items there's inside of it. So you might be confused, like, what do you mean by length, you know? So this is just how long and how many items there are. And that's pretty much it. That's all there really is to variables, to lists, and my blocks. Don't forget that if you want to see a live demo of this, to go to go click on the link for the live demo for this lecture. This one's gonna be not that not that engaging because there's not really much to it. However, you're gonna be able to see it all come together. And I hope that you guys learned something, and I hope that you guys really use these tools to make your code more clean and more efficient because that's all at the end of the day that's all there is and i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching these videos <laughs>